Well, good evening and welcome to our Wednesday weekly check-in. My name is John Shugart. I serve as the pastor of Glendale Heights United Methodist Church. I'm glad that you are joining us this evening for just a few updates and announcements about what's going on at Glendale Heights this week. This is relatively a uh, quiet week or normal week for us. We will have worship on uh, Sunday at 11 a.m. on Facebook Live or when you tune in on YouTube. We are getting closer to our charge conference, which will happen at uh, on October 21st, and we will send out a Zoom link for that. Please uh, feel free to email me or call me. Um, or text me as that date gets closer if you need help with uh, accessing Zoom. It will be recorded so you can watch it afterwards if you care to do that. Again, thank you to everyone last week who helped get together our charge conference forms. That was really helpful and I'm very grateful for all of you who are in church leadership and uh, who are um, continuing to serve the church virtually, uh, continuing to serve the church by filling out these charge conference forms, even though we haven't been able to really be together for sort of the business portion of a lot of the things that we do recently. Um, with that being said, uh, October 21st at, I believe, 7.45 p.m. is our charge conference date. And like I said, as that date moves closer, I will send out a link so that you can watch that virtually. Uh, I will be the host computer and um, you can access it like any other Zoom meeting and Mike Freeze, our DS, will be officiating that and uh, it will be like other charge conferences except for it won't be a, um, a cluster charge conference, it will just be us and we are going to um, go through the, the annual business of the uh, church and, and everything that we've been doing over the course of the past year. I believe um, that that is the only real announcement I have. Our uh, worship committee meeting got <clears throat> postponed this past week because of the rain. So we're kind of trying to come up with some things for Advent as we move closer into the season uh, leading up till Christmas. And we will let you know what that looks like. I, I think it's going to look possibly like a book study that you can do individually or with a group, or we will probably try to offer something virtually as well. And uh, probably just a few little things as we wrap up the end of the year. Tom, uh, Tom Simmons is working on a few things in lieu of... Uh, serving in person at the um, homeless shelter this year, and he is working on that now, and, and he will be announcing some of those coming up as we move closer into that season. I know he did send out an email with a mission opportunity um, from the conference, and so if that's something that's of interest to you, I'd feel free to reach out to him. Uh, I, I think he knows more about it than I do. I, I haven't had a chance to look at that yet. Uh, but it, it is a conference mission opportunity that is um, ongoing right now. So uh, this evening, as we um, have some time to check in, we also want to make sure that we are, are praying for the needs of our congregation. Um, the, the first prayer request, I think, from this week is, is uh, just, just for Tommy. Um, his truck is... is is having issues and, and he's working on that, but it's certainly right now uh, a bit of a financial burden for him and, and also just a, um, just a headache to deal with car problems. And, and so pray for Tommy as he um, deals with his truck. Also, uh, Tom and Cynthia's daughter, Christine, <clears throat> there's been some ongoing changes at her work due to uh, the pandemic and just kind of an economic uh, stress that's been put on the company. And so just, just for Christine and her workplace and her coworkers and, and everyone who's there, uh, we want to be in prayer for them as well as um, all of us are, are living in a time of, of economic uh, stress on all of us and, and also certainly on, on businesses as well. We want to keep uh, business owners and, and workplaces and people who are working right now in mind as there's 
just kind of chaos and stress on on everybody right now, especially as we <clears throat> look forward uh, towards towards the holidays. Um, I think those were the only prayer requests. I just I just want to remind everybody tonight that um, I know there's there's just been uh, a lot of <clears throat> I guess just news about um, increase in hospitalizations and cases in some places. And so we're continuing to remain vigilant by not meeting in person for worship in the church. Uh, but I just, I just want to kind of just pray for everyone's safety in our congregation and in our community and our friends and family as uh, we're not out of the woods yet on this by any means. And so just for everybody who's continuing uh, to stay vigilant, I pray for your perseverance and your patience and your uh, your um, your mental well being and your spiritual well being as we continue through this odd time of of making really hard decisions on a daily basis. Um, I know Emily and I right now are are looking forward towards what Christmas or Thanksgiving even looks like and and possibly having to. Um, not see uh, family or friends, or if we do, how will that look? And, and that, those are things that we're all going through right now, that we're all trying to figure out and make smart decisions, and it's stressful and scary. And so I just want to pray for everybody's safety uh, and perseverance and, and for your mental and spiritual and physical well-being during uh, this time. Also, uh, Amy Davis and Ken Davis's neighbor, is having surgery Thursday morning to remove uh, a cyst from his pancreas. And he's 11 years old, so we pray for him and for his recovery as well. And um, yeah, just just kind of seems like there's a lot going on. And I just I continue to let us know how we can be praying for you or for someone in our community. We want to just remain in prayer for all of those who are going through really difficult times and, and figure out ways that we can continue to walk with them through these times. Uh, that is all I have tonight. Um, one thing I want to mention is I know this past Sunday we had some technical difficulties with the live stream with the camera and with the sound. I apologize for those and appreciate everybody's continued patience and flexibility with technology. These are um, things on my end when I'm looking at my computer that I, I don't always notice right away or, or with the sound issues, I can't tell that that's happening. And I'm, I'm trying to troubleshoot it and come up with some solutions. I think I've figured a few things out, but if, if the sound drops out or the picture changes, I appreciate, you know, your continued patience with all of this. I'm, I'm learning as well as everybody else who's having to work from home or teach from home or study from home. And, uh, it's, it works great sometimes and other times it, it is a real headache. So I appreciate that. And, and continue please to let me know that that's happening. Like I said, on, on my end with the computer, I can't always tell right away. And so I, I appreciate that. So let's pray. And uh, this evening from uh, my trusty uh, field guide for daily prayer, this is a prayer from St. Aidan uh, who lived in the uh, 7th century. And so pray this prayer with me. Leave me alone with God as much as may be. As the tide draws the waters close in upon the shore, make me an island set apart, alone with you, God, holy to you. Then with the turning of the tide, prepare me to carry your presence to the busy world beyond, the world that rushes in on me till the waters come again and fold me back to you. Amen. And so in the, the spirit of St. Aidan, I pray that, that you'll be able to find some spiritual rest, some Sabbath rest with God over the course of this week at some point uh, to spend some time in prayer, reading, reading scripture, spending time with family, or just spending some time in quiet alone. Uh, and I also pray that God gives you strength to, to carry God's light out into uh, your relationships and your workplaces and all of the all of the places that you move in this ever kind of constant flowing back and forth of, of finding rest in God and, and being on mission to carry God's light out into the world. And so I hope that I'll see you Sunday at 11 a.m. on Facebook Live. I pray for a, uh, a flawless 
live stream with no issues. And I pray uh, for all of you as we continue in this time that we will have um, God's protection and uh, that, that you will find ways to carry God's light into the world. Have a great rest of your week.